We're looking ahead to the countdown to the PGA Championship here tonight at 6, expected to bring in 200,000 people spread over the week to Louisville next week. Today we have a closer look at the food preps and the parking plans for some despite the warnings. Isaiah Kim Martinez and photojournalist Emma Gefter are at Valhalla talking to folks in and around the course. We take the tour by cart past the clubhouse at Valhalla. The signs impossible to miss of the legends who've won here. And not far away, these chefs work their magic at one of six main kitchens on site. We're going to do more food in, in three days here than a professional football stadium does in a year. <laughs> These folks are pros, as much as the players are. This job right here has had me do everything from chefing, driving carts, you name it, I do it at the golf tournament. Food's important. The transportation for an event of this size is just as vital. Shelbyville Road is sure to be a zoo when it comes to traffic for the PGA Championship, but you have homeowners all across this road near Valhalla who are trying to make this process easier. Hello. Since last Thursday, Claude Combest's phone. Yes, it is. Has been ringing off the hook. I've got spaces. He's owned this property just 50 yards from one of the course gates for more than 40 years before Valhalla Golf Club even existed. They can get out anytime they want to. And each time the major tournament comes to town, he opens up his couple acres of land for parking, selling spaces to fit as many as 75 cars at a time. Lexington, Frankfurt, Northern Kentucky, you're, you're known West Virginia, yeah. but they come from all over. To be clear, authorities are warning attendees walk-ins at or around Valhalla will not be allowed, and police say going on foot or parking on Shelbyville Road is both unsafe and not an option. The orange is the uh, parking areas. Combest tells me people know this, but regardless, they're reserving their spots anyway. Most will have to get familiar with taking this route by shuttle, I-64 to the Gene Snyder, hoping the construction still going on doesn't cause any headaches. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11, on your side. That construction's been under a while, of course, on the Gene Snyder. Well, starting Monday, people attending the PGA Championship can park for free at the fairgrounds. Yes, we're talking about the fairgrounds. That's a good distance from Valhalla. The shuttles will then run directly to Valhalla. And if you're looking to get your hands on 2024 PGA Championship merchandise, we want to let you know now's your chance this weekend. Today, the PGA shops at Valhalla officially opened three days ahead of the start of the tournament. They'll open to you on Saturday and Sunday.